Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training channel. The struggle of letting go. Letting go of the past can feel like an impossible task. It's like trying to loosen your grip on a rope tied to a weight you've carried for years. The weight represents past hurts and regrets. The rope symbolizes our attachment to these experiences. We resist letting go because we fear the unknown. We become comfortable with the familiar, even if it's painful. The past offers a sense of certainty. Letting go requires stepping into the uncertainty of the future. This struggle is a universal human experience. Letting go is releasing the past's hold, moving forward with freedom and peace. It means choosing to no longer allow the past to dictate our present and future. The harmful grip of the past. Holding on to the past can be incredibly detrimental to our well-being. It's like carrying a heavy backpack filled with rocks. The longer we carry it, the more it weighs us down, affecting our physical, emotional, and mental health. It can drain our energy, leaving us feeling exhausted and depleted. Resentment, anger, and bitterness can take root when we refuse to let go of past hurts. These negative emotions can poison our relationships, preventing us from forming healthy connections. They can also lead to self-destructive behaviors as we seek ways to numb the pain. Living in the past can also prevent us from fully experiencing the present moment. We become so preoccupied with what was that we miss out on the beauty and joy that surrounds us. We rob ourselves of the opportunity to create new memories and embrace new experiences. The past is a valuable teacher, but it shouldn't be our prison. When we cling to it too tightly, we prevent ourselves from growing and evolving. We limit our potential and hinder our ability to create a fulfilling life. Why we cling to what was. We hold on to the past for a variety of reasons, often rooted in fear and a need for control. Sometimes we cling to past hurts because we believe they validate our pain. We may fear that if we let go, will minimize the significance of what we experienced. Undealt with grief, anger, or sadness can keep us tethered to the past. Fear of the unknown also plays a significant role. Letting go requires us to step outside our comfort zone. We may worry that the future won't be as good as the past, even if the past was painful. The power of acceptance. Acceptance is the key to unlocking the door to freedom from the past. It's not about condoning what happened or minimizing the pain. It's about acknowledging the reality of the past and choosing to move forward with grace and understanding. Acceptance allows us to begin the healing process. When we resist what is, we prolong our suffering. By accepting the past, we create space for peace and serenity to enter our lives. We no longer fight against the current, but instead, we learn to flow with it. Acceptance doesn't mean we have to like what happened. It simply means we acknowledge that it happened and choose to focus on what we can control, our present and our future. It's about shifting our perspective from victim to victor. When we accept the past, we reclaim our power. We no longer allow it to define us. We become free to create a future that aligns with our values and aspirations. We step into a space of empowerment, ready to embrace new possibilities. Section 5. Practical Steps to Release the Past Letting go is a process, not a destination. Journaling is a powerful technique. It helps process emotions and gain clarity. Mindfulness meditation is another helpful tool. Focus on the present moment to quiet the mind. Talking to a trusted friend or therapist can be beneficial. Sharing experiences helps us feel understood and supported. Creating rituals can also release the past. Write down what you want to let go of and burn it, or release a balloon. Section 6. Embracing the Now. 
Embracing the present moment is essential for letting go of the past. When we focus on the now, we break free from the grip of past regrets and future anxieties. We become fully present in our lives, appreciating the simple joys and beauty that surrounds us. Practicing gratitude is a powerful way to cultivate present moment awareness. Taking time each day to appreciate the good in our lives shifts our focus from what's lacking to what we have. It helps us to see the abundance that already exists. Engaging our senses can also help us connect with the present. Taking a walk in nature, savoring a delicious meal, or listening to music can bring us into the here and now. These experiences remind us that life is happening right now, not yesterday or tomorrow. Living in the present moment doesn't mean we ignore the lessons of the past or fail to plan for the future. It means we choose to focus our attention on what's happening right now, appreciating the gift of this moment. Section 7. Trusting the Unfolding Future. Letting go of the past requires trust in the future. It means believing that even though we don't know what lies ahead, we have the strength and resilience to navigate whatever comes our way. It's about having faith in ourselves and the universe. Trusting the future doesn't mean we won't face challenges. It means we believe that we can overcome those challenges and emerge stronger on the other side. It's about embracing the unknown with courage and optimism. Visualizing a positive future can help us cultivate trust. By imagining ourselves achieving our goals and living a fulfilling life, we create a powerful internal compass that guides us forward. Trusting the future allows us to release the need to control everything. We surrender to the flow of life, knowing that we are exactly where we need to be. We open ourselves up to new possibilities and embrace the adventure of the unknown. Section 8. Forgiveness, a path to freedom. Forgiveness is a powerful act of self-love. It's about releasing the resentment and anger we hold towards ourselves and others. It doesn't mean condoning the hurtful actions, but rather choosing to free ourselves from the burden of carrying the past. Forgiving ourselves is often the hardest part. We tend to hold on to guilt and shame, replaying past mistakes in our minds. Self-forgiveness allows us to acknowledge our imperfections, learn from our mistakes, and move forward with compassion. Forgiving others can be just as challenging, especially when they haven't apologized or acknowledged their wrongdoing. However, holding on to anger and resentment only hurts us. Forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves, releasing us from the negativity that binds us to the past. Forgiveness doesn't mean we have to reconcile with the person who hurt us. It simply means we choose to release the negative emotions that keep us trapped in the past. It's about reclaiming our power and choosing peace over pain. Section 9. Self-Compassion. Nurturing your inner healer. Self-compassion is an essential ingredient in the process of letting go. It's about treating ourselves with the same kindness, care, and understanding that we would offer a dear friend. It involves recognizing our shared humanity and acknowledging that we all make mistakes. When we practice self-compassion, we create a safe and supportive inner environment for healing. We replace self-criticism with self-acceptance, allowing ourselves to be imperfect. We acknowledge our pain and offer ourselves words of comfort and encouragement. Self-compassion can help us to release the shame and guilt that often accompany past hurts. We begin to see ourselves through a lens of love and understanding recognizing that we did the best we could with the resources we had at the time. Cultivating self-compassion can involve practicing mindfulness, engaging in positive self-talk, and treating ourselves with the same care and consideration that we would offer a loved one. Section 10, The Gift of Letting Go. Letting go of the past is a gift we give ourselves. It's a journey of self-discovery, healing, and transformation. It allows us to reclaim our power, embrace the present moment, and create a future filled with joy, peace, 
and fulfillment. When we let go, we open ourselves up to new possibilities. We create space for new relationships, experiences, and opportunities to enter our lives. We become free to live authentically, aligned with our true selves. Letting go isn't a sign of weakness, it's an act of courage. It takes strength to confront our past, acknowledge our pain, and choose to move forward. It's a testament to our resilience and our capacity for growth. The journey of letting go may not always be easy, but it's always worth it. The rewards are immeasurable. Freedom, peace, joy, and a life lived to the fullest. Embrace the gift of letting go and watch as your life transforms into something truly extraordinary. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thanks for joining me today on this journey.